Alrighty folks, welcome back to another video from Yeats Computers Tips and Reviews. So this is another video of another product that I got off the Toomey site that this product I actually liked. I mentioned it on the other videos that this is a product that actually confused me a lot because it's actually a very good product, but why they cheapen the key feature on it, I don't know. It was actually a fairly cheap product. This is a product that I've seen on other sites and I've seen on there for a lot higher prices. Again, I mentioned this site's a marketplace. So you have a lot of variables out there. A lot of different prices and different sellers selling the same product. Even though it looks like it all comes out of the same warehouse. So again, mention, head on over, hit subscribe, hit the bell, Come on back, finish watching for the unboxing and the review of this. This is actually a product I do like. I have many of them that I've purchased. I've given them to people because I think it's a handy, nice product. And it's a surprisingly good value. Only really one flaw that I could find with it that really, if they would have just done a little better with it, would make this product really great and usually these kind of products any of these ones that i've already done reviews on these products are being made for somebody else and they make extra and then they sell them kind of on the side because they've tooled the machines they've adjusted the machines they got everything configured they made the boards they made everything that goes into these things and they make extra and then somebody sells them there's a lot of sites that sell these kind of products extra factory products and stuff that I've purchased Wii remotes and other things like that that weren't genuine Wii remotes but look pretty much identical. I've opened them up and the casing and the seams and everything are identical. So you know it came from the same factory. So let me open this one up. Actually I gotta break the seal because it's generally a True unboxing. Let me see. My cutter is somewhere. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Now, what surprised me with these is there's actually two in a box. It's just a simple nightlight. But it's an LED nightlight that's actually adjustable. It has an adjustable knob on it that moves up and down. And the one complaint I have is this little hole right here. I mean, look, they even put the plastic over the pins. I mean, they did a great job manufacturing designing this up to this point maybe if they had the little swivel on there where you could actually turn it it might make the product but this is actually very good i actually like this product because i know sometimes it's hard to find a night light or a light that gives you the right amount of light you want sometimes you need a little bit more sometimes you need a little less you buy a night light nowadays that's it that's what it is but you can get 3 LED, 4 LED, 5 LED, 8 LED. That makes it brighter. But what if you have it in a guest room and you're never in there hardly and you walk in and you want that light on so you can see, but then you have a guest staying there and the guest just wants a little bit of light. So then you go take that night light out, go find another light, light put another light light in. This one you can just adjust it. It's really nice. I really liked them. They were selling them selling a lot of them I think they sold out all of a sudden it's no longer on that site i found it on other sites for a lot more money for what this is but the other thing is is this little hole is a sensor that when the daylight hits it it turns off it's not on all the time those are very nice a lot of products have them but the problem is is they made that just a little too cheaply I don't know if the hole's a little too small, optics a little too small, 
what it is, but it has to be pretty much directly have the sunlight hit it to turn off. Now, if you're in a room where the sunlight hits it directly, it's a perfect product for you. If you're in a room where it's on the sidewall or somewhere else where the sun doesn't directly hit it, then it stays on pretty much all the time. So it's kind of an interesting, that's the one flaw that I found. And if you're in that variable where the sun shines right on it or right on that wall or somewhere in that area where it'll turn off, that's probably a perfect product for you. It had a perfect price. So that is one of the items that caught my eye right off the bat when I went on there. And went, that is really neat. I have other flashlights and other things that I've done videos on that are LED. I have a video on what an LED is. Talk about LEDs in your case. All these type of things that are using LED. There'll be a video coming up about the LED I just put on the roof. Very interesting firework LED. But I wanted to go back to this here because LED is used so wide now on a lot of things that I thought, well, that's kind of cool. It's dimmable. Usually anything dimmable LED is like whoop, in price. It's just sky high because I don't know if it's the tech or if it's just gimmick because it's dimmable they charge you more just because it's gaming on it they charge you more so this was really an interesting product i mean to me it was packaged well it's boxed well it's got a nice design on the box so obviously it was made for someone some company someone who was interested in it but and there's two of them in there And this is one of the other products that actually had instructions and type of stuff in it. Most of the time, they don't. But really, do you need an instruction for take the plastic off, plug it in, and adjust your LED? I mean, but some people might. Some people might be interested in that. But that was really the coolest part of this is they were dimmable. And I was shocked it was a two-pack. Very rarely do you see a nightlight, oh, it's $5 and it's for one. It was for two. So that was kind of an interesting bonus to it all that I wanted to mention on this product. Because there's not a whole lot, unless you order like a three pack and they're three separate or something, that I actually have opened a box and there's two of the same product in there. Unless you're buying gloves or something of that sort, of a pair. So I thought that was kind of an interesting deal. <coughs> Wanted to mention that. Show these. Maybe you're looking for something similar to this. I'm sure they have other products that are probably be out similar to this. Because now that this is out. And again, just because this site don't have it. Doesn't mean some other site doesn't or does have it. You might find it out there somewhere else. On another marketplace. So I wanted to just show the product. And again, this is why I said I wanted to give them a fair review. I wanted to break down each product for a product. Not throw 10 products in and go, yeah, this is okay. This one's better than this one. Because this is not the same compared to any of the other products. This is a nightlight. This is adjustable. This has got the sensor. This is, you can't compare this to other products. What am I going to compare it to? You know, there's different ones. I'm sure other makes and models out there that make these kind of night lights. But what grade are, where are they made, how are they made, how, I mean, I mean, it's a decent plastic. I mean, it's not too cheap. I mean, there's no real complaints I had other than the sensor. There's a lot of reviews on there where they complain about the sensor. Again. You know, three, four bucks for two night lights, adjustable with a sensor that kind of works, kind of don't work. That's not too bad. If you know, hey, I'm putting it right there where the sun shines through the window in the morning and it, the day and it's going to be off. Well, then it's a great product. So for me to only have that one real complaint 
about the product, I mean, maybe the next edition, someone will see the reviews or see the video and see what I'm pointing out and say, you know what, let's fix that little thing. Let's figure out why there was an issue and make these great the next revised edition. So that's another reason why I do the video, point out these things. Because next time they design a product, whoever it is, whatever company wants to make a similar product, be aware of the little flaws. Because again, you had a product that almost was great, except for one little minor detail that is a major detail, but it could be a really minor detail to some people, depending on where you put it. So thank you all for watching. Head on over there, subscribe. Stick around. There'll be a few more of these videos coming out. A few more products that I've bought. A couple different variables of things. Thank you so much.